What is going on, Emirates? We're back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing another standings update. As we can see, the next week has been pretty crazy over the last couple of days. We've obviously seen a lot of teams fall off and a lot of teams get back, so let's get right into this video. Starting off in the AL, once again, the Yankees still have that lead over the Baltimore Orioles. It is very slim, but these teams, once again, are going to be coming down to the wire. The last games of the season are going to be super important, especially when these teams match up. And I think in a couple weeks, it's going to be a massive series. Cleveland still has the lead in the Central. The Royals actually tied them, but they have lost six straight games in a row it just has not been ideal for them but they're they, you know it's gonna be tough for them they do have a series against cleveland i think that is uh, happening right now as we speak over the next couple days so that is really tough for the royals they were right there in the division with them and then they just completely fell off so that's not ideal for them as you want to see the twins are still in that fifth spot in the wild card they you know are still ahead of the royals because they fell off right so they're in the fifth spot looking pretty solid the astros are still winning their division by a decent amount seattle's about six games back so once again i would say that division's almost locked up it's going to be happening pretty soon seattle once again is just not really good they're at like a 500 team right now and i just don't think it's going to happen and then we look at this wall card you know the orioles yankee situation we already said one and four going to happen cleveland i think is going to hold on to win that division still the astros still going to win that division i think so i think those are going to be their top three teams but as it stands right now baltimore is in fourth the twins are in fifth the royals are in sixth i would like to say the twins and royals kind of go back and forth but we'll kind of wait and see the teams haven't been performing best i mean the twins are four and six in the last 10 the Royals are seven and or three and seven in their last 10 but the interesting players that we look at the Tigers have been coming back actually they are 70 and 68 they have been eight and two in their last 10 games on a two game winning streak playing pretty well against San Diego right now so they've come back they're four and a half games out so maybe it's a possibility if the Royals keep playing like trash and then also have the Red Sox who have also been you know kind of coming back once again they're at the 70 game win mark as well four and a half, four games back but they're three and seven in their last 10 you know so it's not been good for them either T Tigers have definitely been winning and definitely been making some moves I'd like to say so we'll see if Detroit can make a you know kind of a late comeback into this wall card it would be kind of crazy I'm not gonna lie to see Detroit actually back in there over the Royals but We'll see if it happens. I don't think it will happen. I still think this is the top six as it stands right now. The four game gap is going to get bigger and bigger as, as the games go on as you know, we've only got like a month to play left really. So we'll kind of see what happens moving forward but I think this is still going to be your top six and I do think that Cleveland is probably almost the guaranteed 2-1 seed as, as it stands at this point. I don't think I think they're gonna get the buy and I don't think anyone's gonna catch them in the division really that's kind of my stance you know and then the rest of the AL once again is trash I do want to shout out the White Sox real quick 108 losses on an 11 game losing streak so shout out to the White Sox beating a franchise record for them that's always pretty cool you like to see that so that is pretty exciting for that organization but anyways moving on to the NL over here not really a lot has changed a lot of interesting players have happened though in this NL race so once again another week has gone by the Dodgers are still the best team in the NL they are probably gonna get the buy but it's still really competitive with the Phillies and Brewers you know in the second seed kind of up for grabs the Brewers can still get that over over the Phillies in my opinion it's you're really gonna go back and forth the whole way but I do think these three teams will stay at their respective division winners I don't think the Padres and Dimex will catch up to the Dodgers there's just no way you know it's about like a five game lead right now the Phillies once again have been you know playing pretty well baseball I don't think the Braves will catch up to them and the Brewers there's no shot the Cubs catch up it's a 10 game lead on them looking at this wall card right now the Padres and Diamondbacks are still the top two teams I think they might flip a couple more times depending on how it really goes at this point but these teams are probably locks you know i say probably because anything can happen you know especially if some teams get hot which we'll talk about in a minute the braves once again are once again a question mark they're six and four in the last 10 games so not playing bad baseball at all but the teams below them have been playing pretty well the bets have been playing pretty good baseball they're on a four game winning streak the last 10 games you know they're seven and three so they're playing really good baseball only one game out now so they've definitely made a statement and they're and they're saying they can make the playoffs so i think it's very close and a team that has kind of out of nowhere is my Chicago Cubs have came out of nowhere they're nine and one in their last 10 games they're on a six game winning streak right now three games out so actually very doable for them if they keep putting up this winning streak I don't think anyone really had this team in you know we look at their last I think they're 15 their last 15 games they won like 13 or something like that so they've just been on a crazy hot streak recently and that's kind of what you need to make the postseason and even in the postseason to make the run so we'll see if the Cubs can keep playing good baseball in September they don't have that hard of a schedule they do play the Yankees Dodgers and Phillies for a set of nine games but every Everyone else is under 500 so honestly the Cubs could put a nice run together do I think it happens probably not just knowing how the team is and knowing you know because I'm a fan and I, I just know how they are but they have been playing good baseball so it, you know it might be tough down the road to see what happens but I don't think they make it the Mets is once again is a possibility to make an upset but man I just 
don't think the Cubs are gonna miss. I just, I just don't have them in there, you know? I just think the Braves and Mets will probably just fight it out, to be honest, but, you know, the Cubs could make a splash. We'll wait and see on that, but it's about an eight-team race in the NL, which is very interesting. I think on the NL, you could say the same thing. It's about a seven, eight-team race over there. I know four, four and a half games is kind of a lot out, but, you know, we've, you know, with the Royals losing, anything could happen over there. So it's definitely opened it up a little bit on this side on who can kind of make it and who's kind of in, but we should start to be seeing some clinches very soon from some of the top teams about just clinching the postseason you know not, nothing crazy the brewers should clinch that division pretty soon if they just keep winning ball games but yeah over the next week we should see it you know at least one team clinch i know there's no, not really a team that's really out in front yet at least their respective division and there is really no team on pace to win over 100 games so it's gonna be really interesting to see how this plays out there a lot has changed from week to week as we've been talking about this you know whole ball card situation how crazy it's got but let me know guys in the comment section below who do you guys think is in and out but an eight team race in each league on the, their respective side we've got about a month left the baseball to play so definitely gonna be exciting but let me know in the comment section down below who you guys think you guys got in who's gonna be out let me know all your stuff in the comment section down below and i will see you guys in the next video peace out everyone